everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Zara and today I'm going to be talking about some of my favourite covers of 2023. I don't really judge a book by its cover. I mean, that's not entirely true. We all do. We're all guilty of it. I generally try to be quite good about it, but for some reason there's been just a bunch of really beautiful covers that have come out this year. I'm sure there is every year, but this year in particular, I've been really stunned by some of the art that we've seen on some of the cover art that we've gotten this year. So without further ado, let's jump into the covers that I'm going to be talking about. The first one that we have, and these are in no particular order, we have The Shanghai Immortal by A.Y. Chow. I love the cover of this book. This was 100% a cover by. I bought this book purely because of the cover. The colours, the kind of images on the cover are just absolutely stunning. It's very, very colourful and I love a good colourful cover. I think a lot of fantasy covers tend to be quite dark. And so when I see a really colourful colour, it instantly draws my eye. And I'm really excited to get to this one because it's very much inspired by like 1920s New York, but set in Shanghai instead. And I think the cover really captures the vibe. All of these books have either come out this year or will come out later this year. So just as a heads up, this one has already come out and I can't wait to read it. The next one we have is The Adventures of Amina al Sarahi by S.A. Chakraborty. S.A. Chakraborty's covers never fail. They never disappoint. There's two covers. I actually really like both the UK and the US cover. I have the US cover, but I think both covers are really beautiful. We have the black one with the kind of glittery... Uh, writing and all of that and then we also have the yellow and blue one where we have like the character on the front of the page we see the sea and the ship and again I think it I think that one really captures the vibe of the book I think if you looked at the black cover you wouldn't necessarily know what the book is about but if you look at the yellow blue cover you would know what it's about and I think a good cover can convey what a book is about and I think it does that perfectly and it was also an amazing book Next we have, and this is probably my favourite cover of this year, like I just think it's stunning. It is without doubt one of the most stunning covers I've just seen full stop and that is The Judas Blossom by Stephen Aryan. The cover is just beautiful. I love the colours. So the teal colour that is used on the front is probably up there as like one of my favourite colours. I love that colour. It's like an aquamarine colour. So the teal colour really works well with like the pink and I just love how it's very like detailed and you'll look at it kind of on the surface and you'll just see it's this explosion of colour but then when you actually look a bit closer you actually see like a lot of little diagrams that represent what this book is about and it's just so beautiful and I actually have it on kind of the front of my bookshelf so that I can look at it when I need to feel a bit inspired because it's just beautiful. The next one we have, and this book isn't out yet, but it is coming out soon, and that is Saviour's Korax Deals with the Dead by K.J. Parker. Very simple cover. I think a lot of Parker's covers are very simple, but I just really like it. Like, it's just very aesthetically pleasing, white and black with a bit of red. And I think, again, as you know, I've read the book, I think it does a really good job of not necessarily telling you what the book is about, but like getting across the vibe of the book. And yeah, I, I think it does what it says on the tin. And sometimes that's all you need. Next, we have Combat Codes by Alexander Darwin. I love the cover of this book. The cover of this book is what got me interested in it. And it's what made me look at the blurb and then actually then go ahead and buy the book. And uh, it reminds me of like the Mortal Kombat insignia. And when you first log in to play Mortal Kombat, like that, you know, in the intro page where it's like against the black backdrop. I don't know, I don't know if that was intentional, but it just reminded me of that. And that's why I then went to go and look at the synopsis because it, it reminded me of Mortal Kombat. So again, kind of tells you what to expect without giving anything away. And it's just really aesthetically pleasing. Next, we have A Day of Fall of Night by Samantha Shannon. I think all of Samantha Shannon's books have really beautiful covers. I have Orange, what is it? Orange of the Priory Tree? The Priory Tree and the Orange. I don't know, but my mum read it recently and she loved it and she was like depressed afterwards because she didn't want it to end. But the cover is stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, fantasy books tend to have darker covers, but it's so colourful. It kind of gets across the epic nature of the story. I haven't read it yet, but I know it's an epic. It's like a thousand pages long, but it's 
just so beautiful to look at and that was definitely a cover buy for me definitely a cover buy uh, i'm not ashamed of it and that was part of the reason why i got a day of the fall a day of fall and night as well because the cover is just so beautiful but it uses slightly different colors so yeah samantha shannon keep using your cover artists because they are doing an amazing job next we have a woman of the sword by anna smith spark i love the cover of this book i don't tend to like having characters on the front of books especially if you can see the face thankfully the, you can't actually see the characters faces in this cover but even with them being there like i just think it captures the spirit of the book really well because i know it's about a mother i think essentially protecting her family and that's what the cover shows and again the use of color the tone just suits really well it really kind of stuck out to me and i bought it not necessarily because of the cover i bought it because it's anna smith spark and i'm really curious about her writing but the cover did definitely contribute like it's really 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 nice and then last but most certainly not least, we have The Book That Wouldn't Burn by Mark Lawrence. I love the cover of this book. It's so beautiful. You know, we're book lovers. So if there can be books or like a library on the front of a book, it's a win-win for everybody involved. And the colours, the kind of goldy, browny nature of the cover, it just, it just works. It just really, really works. And I remember when I first got my arc in the post, I just looked at the cover for a good like two three minutes because i was appreciating the beauty of it and again i think it really captures the magnitude of the story that is being told it really gives you a sense of what is going to be discussed and i just i really liked it i actually have the book like front and center on my bookshelves even though i didn't have the best experience with the book very much a me thing i think the cover itself is stunning and uh, it's front and center for that reason so let me know down below what are your favourite covers of this year. I mean, there's a few more, but I might do a second video towards the end of this year once uh, I've, I've had time to, to kind of have a, a look uh, at what else is coming out. But let me know if the, what are your top three covers of this year, specifically of books that have come out this year. And let's take the conversation down below. Thanks for watching, everybody, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Speak to you soon.